take all of this in because this could actually be our last moments on this type of map. If what I'm about to say turns out to be real, I am seriously scared for Fortnite Season 3. Welcome back, guys. If you're new around here, subscribe. 48.2% of you guys aren't subscribed who watch daily. I want to see this number go up, so if you aren't subscribed, tap it right now and make sure the bell is on. Thank you so much. Tap like if you're excited for Season 3, and even if you aren't, I think by the end of today's video, I'm going to convince you to touch that like button. And as always, feel free to enter code mill into your item shop. So if you haven't seen my video that I uploaded a few days ago right here talking about season three leaks. Yes, at first glance, it looks like a ton of clickbait, even though you guys know I will never upload anything at all without it being backed up with good evidence. So if you haven't seen it, go and watch it right now before you even watch today's video. But essentially in that video, we talked about how an anonymous person came out to say that he knew a ton of stuff coming to Fortnite season three. A flare gun being added, an Agent Meowso's robot skin, custom umbrellas, and honestly so much more so please check it out but with the 12.50 update that released just a couple of days ago those leaks that that guy was talking about have pretty much been confirmed maybe not all of them but definitely a lot of the stuff that he was saying is arriving to season three i could truly see it coming and the reason for that is because they talked about a plaza coming to the game where there's going to be skin booths which you can walk in and change your skin mid game now that probably sounds familiar right because fortnite just dropped the party royale mode and if you go in there it's like a plaza there's a ton of stuff going on there's a ton of mini games and it's basically a mini map and it's like a little plaza and as that anonymous source was talking about with skin booths they're actually in the game right now in the party royale mode and when we saw this we freaked out because that pretty much proves that all of the stuff that that guy was talking about for season three is probably going to be coming probably not all of it but definitely most of the stuff in there is for sure real now you might be saying well maybe he just got lucky mill well i doubt it because in that video he was also talking about a shark vehicle and agent meowso's robot skin and big changes coming to the map in terms of water and with the 12.50 update three poster images were added inside of the files under the name season 13 poster teasers now these posters are currently appearing all around the map just like we normally get with like little events they want to tease in game and stuff but these are the posters right here we've got meowsels here chilling in some water we've got a building which seems to be floating in water yet the fence remains at the bottom under the water hmm. and the final one is a little reference to the jaws movies but we can see a shark here swimming in its way up and by the looks of it it's about to take a big bite out of poor little peely so tell me why we see a shark when in that season three leaks video that guy was talking about a shark vehicle as well and also why is agent meowsels in the water when in that same video we talked about the fact that he was reckoning a new version of agent meowsels is coming to the game because it's really starting to get real now in each of these posters we see some similarities in the bottom left we can see the no sweat insurance icon if you don't know that's a big building currently at Lazy Lake. It just arrived just a couple of weeks ago. And the last time we saw this building or company, I guess we can say, is all the way back in chapter one in Tilted Towers. You guys might remember it. Now, when it arrived a couple of weeks ago, I was thinking, well, why? Why is an insurance building arrived to the map? And now with these posters coming out and their logo being represented at the bottom of each of these posters, it kind of makes sense. Perhaps the insurance company is behind what we see in these images. And in these images, you might have also seen another similarity. And well, that's water. In every single one of these, there is water filling up. But why? Well, what I'm about to say is baffling, but I really think it's coming. I truly think a flood is coming to season three. Because why would that anonymous source talk about the fact that there's going to be big changes to the map in terms of water? And apparently he was also rumoring that there's going to be big changes coming to the builder mechanic. And with something like a flood coming to the game, you can imagine, where are we supposed to build? Now, in this image right here, we can see a building, obviously, floating above water, but underneath the water still remaining at the bottom of this pit of water is the fence and what's mind-boggling is this building is over at salty springs as you can see right here now i don't know if i'm being completely crazy here but i really think all the buildings are gonna float up to the top of the water and everything else is gonna remain under we can see sharks obviously inside of the water i don't know if they're actually gonna be like an ai like actually gonna be doing damage to us or as that anonymous source was mentioning it could possibly be a vehicle i think sharks are going to come and i think they're just gonna be spawned in and they're just gonna swim around like they normally do and they become a vehicle when we swim down get on one and essentially ride it around and i've got a feeling if sharks did come 
come to the game in this way, maybe both are going to be vaulted or just taken out of the game completely. Maybe they're going to be hostile to us and as long as we can manage to get onto it and ride it around, it's then controlled, you know? Like we've got to tame these sharks to ride them around. That's my theory right now. But we also see Agent Meowsles here swimming around and as I say, it could possibly be a reference to that anonymous source who was talking about the fact that we're going to get a robot Meowsles skin coming to the Battle Pass in Season 3 as well, perhaps. And then obviously that building, guys, I think it just proves it. I think a flood is truly going to come in season three and it's going to change the game forever now you might be saying oh well maybe just salty springs is going to get flooded there's no way where's the water going to go but a better question is where's the water going to come from and i asked you guys question is where does this flood actually come from and here's some of your guys thoughts happy power responded by maybe the water is going to start flowing out of these agency bunker things and he might be correct as you know a few updates ago five bunker type things were added around the agency building in the center of the map. We still don't know what these are for, but we think it's something to do with the Doomsday device. We think that's going to be the reference to the final live event of chapter two coming in the next few weeks. Water could start flowing out of these and truly just fill up the map until the water level is too high, causing a flood. One of my Twitch subscribers, Sammy, talked about it could be the waterfall over at Hydro 16, but I don't think because I was looking at the levels and Salty Springs is higher up in terms of the ground level than the Hydro 16 dam, so I'm not sure. Some other theories I've seen floating about is going to be a tsunami coming for the doomsday event at the end of the season one of my followers pointed out remember back in season x when salty springs had water surrounding it instead of the buildings and i remember that it was definitely a good spot but obviously that's a completely different map and i think that might have just been an error on epic's side but a good theory for sure but if today's video hasn't got you guys concerned and excited for season three then bro i don't know what to tell you tap that like button right now if you're very worried for season three or maybe you're excited i don't know but let's talk about it in the comments guys because i'm really really excited for season three because if a flood does come and all of the buildings around the map float up but everything else remains underwater it's gonna be mind-boggling later on tonight i'm gonna make a concept map where i'm gonna try and show you guys all of the buildings floating above water on a mini map so go follow me on twitter at mill right now to see that and share it around guys but i don't know as i say today we've just been talking theories but really with last video's anonymous source coming out saying that he knew all of that stuff coming to season three the skin booths arriving as he also said and obviously those official posters added to the files i really think a lot of that stuff is coming as i say make sure to check that season three leaks video out to learn everything that should be coming to season three use code mill in the item shop and i'll see you guys in the next one peace